Welcome to Story Time. I am Reading Buddy. We bring you a story every week. How is your reading journey with the wonderful Wizard of Oz? In the previous episode, Dorothy, Toto, and the Scarecrow met a tin woodman and invited him to join their journey to the Emerald City. We are going to finish the rest of Chapter Five, the rescue of the Tin Woodman. Oh, don't forget to stay until the very end and learn a Chinese phrase with Reading Buddy. Ready? Let's get started. Dorothy was thinking so earnestly. As they walked along, that she did not notice when the scarecrow stumbled into a hole and rolled over to the side of the road. <gasps> Indeed, he was obliged to call to her to help him up again. Why didn't you walk around the hole? Asked the Tin Woodman. I don't know enough. Replied the scarecrow cheerfully. My head is stuffed with straw, you know, and that is why I am going to Oz to ask him for some brains. Oh, I see," said the Tin Woodman. But after all, brains are not the best things in the world. Do you have any? Inquired the scarecrow. No, my head is quite empty," answered the Woodman. But once I had brains, and a heart also, so having tried them both, I should much rather have a heart. And why is that? Asked the scarecrow. I will tell you my story, and then you will know. So while they were walking through the forest, the Tin Woodman told the following story. I was born the son of a woodman who chopped down trees in the forest. And sold the wood for a living. When I grew up, I too became a wood chopper. And after my father died, I took care of my old mother as long as she lived. Then I made up my mind that instead of living alone, I would marry, so that I might not become lonely. There was one of the Munchkin girls who was so beautiful that I soon grew to love her with all my heart. She, on her part, promised to marry me as soon as I could earn enough money to build a better house for her. So I set to work harder than ever. But the girl lived with an old woman who did not want her to marry anyone. For she was so lazy, she wished the girl to remain with her and do the cooking and the housework. So the old woman went to the wicked witch of the east and promised her two sheep and a cow if she would prevent the marriage. Thereupon, the wicked witch enchanted my axe. And when I was chopping away at my best one day, for I was anxious to get the new house and my wife as soon as possible, the axe slipped all at once and cut off my left leg. This at first seemed a great misfortune. For I knew a one-legged man could not do very well as a wood chopper, so I went to a tinsmith and had him make me a new leg out of tin. The leg worked very well once I was used to it, but my action angered the wicked witch of the east, for she had promised the old woman I should not marry the pretty Munchkin girl. When I began chopping again, my axe slipped and cut off my right leg. Again, I went to the tinsmith, and again he made me a leg out of tin. After this, the enchanted axe cut off my arms one after the other, but nothing daunted, 
I had them replaced with tin ones. The wicked witch then made the axe slip and cut off my head. And at first I thought that was the end of me. But the tinsmith happened to come along and he made me a new head out of tin. I thought I had beaten the wicked witch then, and I worked harder than ever. But I little knew how cruel my enemy could be. She thought of a new way to kill my love for the beautiful munchkin girl, and made my axe slip again, so that it cut right through my body, splitting me into two halves. Once more the tinsmith came to my help and made me a body of tin, fastening my tin arms and legs and head to it by means of joints so that I could move around as well as ever. But alas, I had now no heart, so that I lost all my love for the munchkin girl and did not care whether I married her or not. I suppose she is still living with the old woman, waiting for me to come after her. My body shone so brightly in the sun that I felt very proud of it, and it did not matter now if my axe slipped, for it could not cut me. There was only one danger, that my joints would rust, but I kept an oil can in my cottage and took care to oil myself whenever I needed it. However, there came a day when I forgot to do this, and being caught in a rainstorm, before I thought of the danger my joints had rusted, and I was left to stand in the woods until you came to help me. It was a terrible thing to undergo, but during the year I stood there, I had time to think that the greatest loss I had known was the loss of my heart. While I was in love, I was the happiest man on earth. But no one can love who has not a heart. And so I am resolved to ask Oz to give me one. And if he does, I will go back to the Munchkin Girl and marry her. Both Dorothy and the Scarecrow had been greatly interested in the story of the Tin Woodman and now they knew why he was so anxious to get a new heart. All the same, said the scarecrow, I shall ask for brains instead of a heart, for a fool would not know what to do with a heart if he had one. I shall take the heart, returned the tin woodman, for brains do not make one happy, and happiness is the best thing in the world. Dorothy did not say anything, for she was puzzled to know which of her two friends was right. And she decided if she could only get back to Kansas and Aunt Em, it did not matter so much whether the woodman had no brains and the scarecrow no heart, or each got what they wanted. What worried her most was that the bread was nearly gone, and another meal for herself and Toto would empty the basket. To be sure, neither the woodman nor the scarecrow ever ate anything. But she was not made of tin nor straw, and could not live unless she was fed. That was a long story about the tin man's life. In today's Chinese time, Reading Buddy is going to teach you how to say Tell me your story in Chinese 告诉我你的故事 告诉我你的故事 告诉 is tell 故事 is story If you ask your grandpa 告诉我你的故事 Tell me your story The next time when you see him you may be surprised to learn some fun childhood stories of your grandpa. Thanks for listening. We will see you next time. 